Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. God bless you. This is Pastor Carlos with New Life, and it's just good to be with you this morning again. Raise, uh, I just overheard some conversations. It sure is. The days seem like they're going by so fast, and um, I guess uh, I guess it's just the, the, the condition of what's happening around us. Maybe we're just more aware of what's going on, but it just seems like days are going by so quickly. And I want to thank all of you so much for being so faithful to waking up early in the morning, rising up. God bless you, Geraldine and Norman and Marie. Good to see you this morning. Tammy Massey, we're all getting on board right now. Amen. Good morning. Um, uh, God is so good. You begin to worship the Lord right now if you're tuned in right now and, uh, and at this time just begin to lift up your hands just take a few minutes to praise them amen and and uh, I know that Raquel I heard Raquel on there as well God bless you Raquel Soto good to have you Diane Smith Michael Cook God bless you, brother amen amen oh I thought you were gone I thought you were on vacation but I guess you're not taking a vacation from the Lord amen so I'm glad you're here and Mickey as well, yes, amen. Hallelujah, God bless you. Yvette Saunders, glad you're here, Yvette Sanders, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what, it's a good morning. I'm just preparing, and of course, oh, Kay and Dre May, and oh, and of course, Lauren Gray, <laughs> Sylvia, God bless you both. Hmm. Ah. Oh, what a good God we serve this morning, amen. I mean, I hope you're excited. The fact that we were able to wake up this morning, amen. Yes, good morning, Michael. Good morning, Peggy. God bless you. Uh, Nicholas LeBoy, hey, God bless you, Nico. Good to have you on board with us this morning. And uh, yes, yeah, so I want to get. I want to go ahead and just get started this morning. I just um, am excited to be with you. And uh, I know God has a word for every one of us as well, amen. So with me, I hope that, um, that, that we have a wonderful time of prayer together. And uh, oh, I love that. You're right, Nene. There is no vacation from God. I mean, no matter where we are, God is good, amen. And I have a little cup of tea, some tea and lemon, because my throat's been a little rough. But Elisa and Louis Alvarez are on board as well. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started this morning because God is so good and and, um, and his word. And Matthew, we're, we're going to open up this morning with Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. That's Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. And God's word says to this, it says this, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm, what a great promise. What a great word to encourage us this morning that we can walk in God's rest, that we can, work, we can rest our souls and our minds on Jesus this morning. If you're taking notes, note this down. Listen, don't fear the future. God's already there. God is already in your future, so we don't need to fear. We can, we can rest and not worry about what's happening tomorrow, amen, because God has our tomorrow right in his hand. So just realize that you can walk in peace and rest, and Jesus promises something so powerful. He promises rest for our souls. You know, our souls, our, our emotions, our mind, our intellect, you know, our reasoning, that area. See, that we can have rest there, that we can rest our minds. Because the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. You see, it's, it's only in Him that our burdens can be lifted. Amen. It's only in Him that we find strength and we find help in our greatest times of need. For you see, Jesus is our peace. See, Jesus is the Prince of Peace, amen? So true peace can never be found through material things, through money, or even through the people that we love the most. At the end of the day, real peace comes from Christ. And you see, you can walk in peace when you trust in God. 
Oh, let me say that one more time for those that are taking notes. You can walk in peace when you trust in God. So you know when so there's an area in your life that you feel like it's just it's a little chaotic, even though uh, you know other areas may be in, in, in a good place. Well, maybe that's just an area that you need to surrender to God. Amen. It's an area that you need to trust God in, because you can walk in peace when you trust in God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pray. So the first, so we're gonna go right into our prayer emphasis this morning. I want to pray about these things right here, Amen. And this is the first, the first thing we're gonna pray for is this, and and, and, I, and I really want to encourage you. I'm not just gonna. This first point is not just something I just want to throw out there because it's a good teaching. I believe that many of us need to do this at this moment, and here it is: focus on fasting. Focus on fasting and, and 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 of course you know it doesn't have to be a full fast if you if you can't you know if you want to just start out by skipping a meal like even now like right now i decided that i'm not going to eat anything probably till lunchtime so i'm just skip breakfast like right now being with you is my breakfast time amen and, and being with the lord as soon as because even when i get off this this morning uh, uh gathering that we have I go, I go and I open my word. I spend a little time, some extra time with the Lord as well and just really allow God to fill me. So to focus on fasting, Isaiah 58, 6. Isaiah 58, 6 says this. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that ye may break every yoke. See, adversity is a season of unusual attack. If you're taking notes, note that down. Adversity is a season of unusual attack. See, right now we are going through adversity. This is not the norm. At the end of the day, the whole world is going through it right now. And you see adversity, this is a season of adversity, amen? Amen. And praise God, Carmelo. I'm glad you're on board. But listen, this is a season that's challenging. I don't know about you, man, but, but I got to continue to stay pressed into God. Because, because if we don't, if we don't press into the Lord, then the world's going to press in on us. See, right now, the, 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 the amount of things that are happening on, when, you, when you watch television, you see the news, and you just hear what's happening around us right now, this is not the norm. This is unusual. This, is, this seems like it's just a, an attack that's coming straight from the pit of hell upon the whole planet, not just, the, not just here in America, but the whole world is being shaken right now. So, you know, in a, in a time, an unusual season, like the season that we're in right now, this adversity that we're in right now, consider using unusual weapons. See, we need to understand that this is not the norm. So we can't just live life normal anymore. Not, it's not. It's not. It's not life as usual. This is. This is the time where we, as as women of God and men of God, need to press into the Lord. And fasting is a feared weapon in battle. You see, the devil doesn't want you to fast and pray. It's one thing to pray, but when you start fasting and praying, it's putting your whole prayer life into overdrive. It's taking everything to the next level. You, you, you start denying your flesh. You start denying yourself. And you start pressing into God. And when you do that, I guarantee you, you'll see things that, that happen supernaturally around you. Because it's a supernatural of the leading of the Holy Spirit to be able to fast and pray. So I, I, so I believe this is a season. This is a season where we need to press in like never before. I see, because fasting also is a tool that sharpens our sensitivity towards God. It makes you so sensitive to Him, amen? So we need to use that weapon. Ask the Lord to lead you. Ask the Lord to help you, amen? To be able to press in. Because there's something that's gonna come out of this season. This season is preparing you for something, and this is, what, this is what's preparing you for. And note this, fasting prepares you for a new anointing. There's a new anointing coming upon your life. God wants to do something new and fresh, 
and he's taking us through a process, amen, of refining us because God's got a new anointing, an anointing that God has that wants to do something great and mighty. And I believe that as we press in today, as we begin to press in right now, God is going to rise up inside of us and do something new as well. Amen. Praise God. So fasting prepares you for a new anointing. The second thing is this. Write this down if you're taking notes. Respect the law of sowing and reaping. Honor, honor the law of sowing and reaping. Galatians 6, 7 says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. See, we need to understand that God it ha has put a universal law. See, the scriptural law of, of sowing and reaping is universal. I mean, I, I've said this before, and for some reason I know fasting and giving is such a, they're tied together so much because as you begin to use fasting as a weapon, then also giving becomes a weapon as well. So you can take your giving, you can take your the, 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 the things that God wants you to sow and begin to direct those at specific situations in your life, amen? And I believe that God wants to do something great in your life. And see, the law of sowing and reaping has to be honored. If God put it in place, we need to honor. Listen, fools deny it. Rebels defy it. But the wise live by it. And I know, listen, for a fact, I've heard so many amazing testimonies during this time. And I believe that as we honor the Lord with our giving, amen, and continue to plant seeds, I believe God is going to do some remarkable things because God is going to use that situation, use your seed that you're planting, not only to bless other people, but also to bless your life as well. See, inventory your seeds. Inventory what God has given you. Inventory your time, the mercy, the honor, and the finances that God has blessed you with. See, inventory those things because you need to have plenty to plant, to sow into God's kingdom because it comes right back into your own life as well. And listen, find a good place. Find a good place to sow. See, if you're taking notes, note this. The quality of the soil determines the quantity of the harvest. The quality of the soil determines, it decides the quantity of the harvest. Find a good place, the church where you are, whoever you, wherever you are, the place that God is blessing you, make sure you sow seed into that ministry so that God will continue to bless you and bless that ministry as well, amen. Praise God, respect the law, honor the law of sowing and reaping. And then the last thing, we're going to pray for is this. Now, this is, I know this is fundamental. I mean, this really is. This is very fundamental, but it's something that sometimes we don't think about. And here it is. This is the third one. Get excited about feeling good. Get excited about feeling good. Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5 says this. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrow. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And it's by his stripes that we were healed. Oh, what a promise. It's a promise from God Healing belongs to you as a child of God. Healing is a gift that God has given us, amen. He per Jesus purchased it at the cross at Calvary. Get excited if you're feeling good in the morning. Get excited that God has given you good health, amen. Listen, take note of this. Sickness is a thief that Jesus already arrested. Oh, praise the Lord. Sickness is a, a thief 
It's trying to rob us of good health. It's trying to rob us of, of our peace of mind. See, the devil, the thief, comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. Amen? So sickness is not from God. Sickness started back in when, when man fell, back in the Garden of Gethsemane, when things, I'm sorry, at the Garden of Eden. Sorry, wrong garden. <coughs> Excuse me. But back then, see, sickness came into the world when sin came into the world, amen? And God wants to heal every one of us. See, get excited over it. The great physician is putting you back together again, amen? See, the great physician, hallelujah, Jesus is healing you every single day. As you continue to bring things before him, amen, as we go through the trials and tribulations and the pressures of the day, when we get into his presence, hallelujah, the peace, health amen and then continue to do what you need to do to stay healthy as well see you are you are much better healed than you ever were broken come on somebody you are much better healed than you ever were broken be excited about it be excited about what god has done in your life and share it with others as well amen Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, it looks like my internet's acting a little crazy, so I, I apologize for those that are on Facebook, but you know what? The devil's a liar. Amen. And we're going to continue to press in. So right now, just lift up your hands right where you are and begin to praise him. Just close yourself in with the Lord right now. Just begin to give him glory and honor and praise this morning. He is such a good God and such a wonderful God. That's right. Just close yourself in with him. Take this moment right now just to close yourself in with God. God is so good. He's a wonderful God. He wants, he wants to do great and mighty things today. So Heavenly Father, today we thank you and we praise you and we give you glory and honor this morning. Father, you're such a good God. And we thank you, Lord Father, that you had the best in mind for every one of us. I thank you, Lord God, that you are mindful of us. That means you are constantly, constantly, we are on your mind. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father, help us, Lord God. Help us and strengthen us this morning, oh God. Teach us how to fast. Help us to fast, Lord God, not just to pray, but to begin a season. Father, if this is an unusual season of adversity, oh God. So you a weapon to overcome with and we know that fasting is that weapon so lord in jesus name lord god help us to deny this flesh lord god and begin to fast and pray and expect the supernatural lord god expect expect walls to come down lord god chains to be broken in jesus name peace to come upon us as we begin to press into you oh god in jesus name father god thank you lord god for the weapon of fasting lord god and help us to take that time of fasting and when we should be eating lord god that we would eat the word of god the bread of life lord god in that moment at that time of that meal that we'd open up your word and feast at your table lord father from your word in jesus name and we expect great and mighty things as we fast and pray father god in this season and lord help us to honor the law of sowing and reaping father god we know father god it's a powerful tool it's something that you've done lord god that is so amazing lord god so we know that it's more blessed to give than to receive lord god as we trust you lord god as we put things in your hand that's right vicky we're going to trust god for the outcome we're going to trust god and believe him that when we plant these seeds that god will do great things that he'll use lord god what we give him 
as part of our worship because we know that tithing, Father God, and, and our offerings, that's just part of our worship. That's our part of saying, thank you, Jesus, for your provision. Thank you you've given us more than enough that we can give back that 10% and put it right back into your kingdom and invest in a place where moth can never go and eat into, Lord God, and, and destroy the places where your kingdom where things multiply, oh God, and come back to us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord God, we thank you. And Father, today we thank you that we are healed. We thank you for the healing upon our bodies, upon our minds, upon our spirits, oh God. We thank you that this morning, that it's by your stripes that we are healed, and we know that. We know in Jesus' name that we can walk in your healing every day. So Father, help us to be excited about it. Help us not to take for granted every single day that this body is working well, that our minds are intact, Lord God, that you have given us your grace and mercy, Father. So Lord, Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us joy unspeakable and full of glory, for we know that the joy of the Lord is our strength, oh God. So right now, we thank you, and we praise you, Lord God, and we're glad this morning that we are in our right minds, and our right hearts, that our bodies are healed, Lord God, that we are walking in your purpose and in your power, Father, in the name of of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen, Janet. God bless you. Listen, right now, close yourself in with God. Take this moment right now to, to, put, to put your hand, lay hands on your prayer request right now. Just lay hands on your prayer request. And I want you to start right now, if you're on Facebook Live or, or if you're on the conference call, just begin to audibly so we get to pray, begin to call out the name, begin to key in right now a resurrection for a restoration for Jessica and Joshua's family. I see that coming up on Facebook. This I want to pray for your restoration. Just begin to put your needs up right now. Take the time. Um, I have Lisa on the other line. She's uh, actually with us right now. She's our, our remote coordinator, and she's taking note of all your prayer requests. So begin to put them down right now. I believe that God wants to bless you. God wants to do great and mighty things in your life. So just begin to declare God's goodness and grace over the people that you're praying for. Amen. That's right, Lynn Bell. Amen. See, so be, begin to trust God because that's faith. Faith is calling things that are not as if they were. And sometimes we can't see them with these eyes, but we can see them with the eyes of the Spirit. Amen. And begin to visualize those miracles and begin to see God moving right now. So in your need, Father, we thank you for those that are being saved right now. Those that need, Father, hallelujah, that need to be saved right now. Uh, I pray right now for, for, for Nicholas and Amanda right now. That's right, Janet. I see them, that they'll come to Christ in a powerful way, that they'll continue to be drawn in by the Holy Spirit right now. Amen. Refreshing rain on somebody's marriage right now. I just saw that. Total healing for Keith, uh, uh, ter the Terrier and Keith Wooldridge, amen. Total healing for them. Just continue to pray for them. I'm believing God to do great and mighty things, amen. Right here we see Peggy, a uh, daughter and grandson, finding a good church. Holy Spirit, lead them wherever they are to find a good church, a, a Bible-believing, Spirit-filled church that will meet the needs of in their lives. That's right, Elizabeth. I'm believing for your children as well. The Bible says that when we're saved, our household is saved as well. And of course, protecting our grandchildren. Amen, Janet. I believe God's going to put a covering right now. So just begin to pray. I pray for your covering over our grandchildren as well. Lord God, protects, protect that next generation, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Father, we just praise you. We thank you right now. That, that, that's right, the backslider, the daughter, your daughter's coming back unique. She's coming back to the Lord again. Amen. I pray for protection right now. Protection in the name of 
Jesus, unspoken prayer request. Listen, you may have a need right now. I believe God's going to touch it as we all join our faith together right now. In the name of Jesus, Father God, restoration for my brother-in-law. I see that K and Dre. In Jesus' name, it is done. He's being restored. He's being renewed right now by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father God, for answering prayer. We thank you that even now, Father, we can stand. That's right. We can stand in agreement. We believe that God says when two or more agree, touching anything, that it shall be done. Yes, mental healing. That's right. There's nothing that God cannot heal. So in Jesus' name, Lord God, I pray those that are suffering mentally and spiritually and physically as well. And Father, I pray in Jesus' name that you'll touch them and begin to pour in the oil and the wine of healing. Amen. And we just thank you right now for all the answered prayer. We thank you, Father God, that we can come before. Listen, begin to celebrate right now. Begin to thank the Lord for the prayers that are being answered. He answers every single prayer. So just continue to thank him right now that you have your answer. He may say yes. He may say wait, but he's going to answer every single prayer. God is working always on your behalf. The Bible says he never sleeps and he never slumbers. God is always at work. Amen. So I want to thank you guys for all those amazing prayer requests for nephews and nieces. And, and oh, I love this. Listen, at the end of the day, God is hearing your prayers and God is honoring your request. Amen. Because there's nothing impossible for the Lord. So begin to see it, begin to visualize it, begin to receive it. And Father, we thank you right now for answered prayer. We thank you even now, God, that you are true to your word. You are true to your promises. We thank you for the financial breakthroughs that are happening right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that you meet every single need. Hallelujah. Give us this day our daily bread, and we believe you, Father God, for doing great and mighty things this morning. Amen. We thank you. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. All the honor and all the the praise this morning, hallelujah, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. My, put your hands together, listen, begin to give the Lord a praise right now. Begin to just thank him for answering your prayers, hallelujah. Praise the living God. Well, listen, I just want to close this our session this morning in Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 13 through 16. Again, here's a wonderful promise from the Lord. It says this, happy is the man who finds wisdom. In some of your verses, it may say, blessed is the man who finds wisdom and woman as well. And the man who gains understanding for her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things you may desire cannot compare with her. We're talking about wisdom. Length, here's the promise. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Oh, wisdom. Listen, we need God's wisdom now more than ever before. So continue to press into the Lord, amen. Continue to ask God to give you wisdom Wisdom is what we need today to understand, to make the right decisions, just to be able to carry our lives in a godly way. Amen. See, the, a lot of us may be educated and have plenty of information, but we need the wisdom to make the right choices, to use the things that God has given us. And we need to understand that God is the author of all wisdom. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Listen, if you came out a little bit late this morning, it's okay. As soon as I get done here, next couple of minutes, you can just hit replay. I, I want to challenge you to listen to everything God brought to our table today. He wants us to feast at his table with his word. And I believe you're going to receive an encouraging word. And remember, it's not just knowing the word that makes a difference. It's obeying God's word being not just a hear, but being a doer of it, amen. That's what's gonna make the impact in your life. So I believe God has spoken this morning, amen, and asked for wisdom, that's right, 
every single day. That should be part of your prayer. Hallelujah. So listen, I want to thank all of you. And Juliet, thanks for coming on. Uh, as I close out the, the time right now, um, make sure you hit replay and watch this thing as soon as I post it. Amen. But listen, I want to thank you and praise you. Remember that tonight, Pastor Martin will be uh, having his evening uh, prayer gathering with the New Life um, uh, uh, intercessory team at 7, uh, 7 p.m. Because this is double dose of the Holy Ghost Tuesday, amen? So so let's go ahead and do that tonight at 7 p.m. Just go on our, our Facebook Live later, our Facebook page, and you'll see the number and the code to come in on this conference call, amen? Well, listen, let me bless you this morning. I pray the priestly blessing over you right now. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Ah, sweet peace. The peace of God throughout this day that will guide you and lead you. Amen. And remember, when you're walking in the spirit, you will not fulfill the desires of of the flesh. Amen. Continue today to walk in God's spirit. And listen, can I give you one last instruction? Smile today. Today is a day to smile. Listen, we don't always feel it, but when you smile, things change inside of you. And when you smile, you also bring hope and love and grace to others as well. Amen. So God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Amen. And remember, tonight is prayer gathering. So be, be, make sure you tune into that and, uh, and just be blessed today. Be blessed in Jesus' name right now. Amen. So Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters. Bless them now in Jesus' name. God bless you and we'll see you again, Lord willing, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. for the walking in the spirit program. I am Pastor Carlos Rivera. It's my honor and my blessing to be with you every morning. Amen. God bless you.